What's up, YouTube? Top City 5401 here. I'm holding the camera with my hand, so it might be a little bit of a shaky video. Made a trip to my LCS, and I picked up a few cards. There was a card that was just on my mind. I couldn't let it go. Last time I was there, I didn't pick it up. And I added a few more to the stacks, starting with this really cool Willie Mays Tops Triple Threads. Numbered out of 125. I like that pink parallel. It's really nice looking. I dig pink a whole heap. I had a baby shower this past weekend. I got another grand baby on the way. And we were doing some baby trivia. And I'm just thinking about this because I got a pink card here. <clears throat> but back in the 1800s, when boys were born, what color was used to identify a boy, and the answer was pink. I thought that was super interesting. I had no idea. Anyway, that's a really cool Willie Mays card. I dig it. Numbered out of 125. I love this kind of stuff, guys. All these cards, all toll, cost me 40 bucks, which nowadays is a couple of blasters. And I mean, yeah, breaking wax is fun, but picking up singles is always is satisfying. You always get what you want when you pick up singles. Got another card from that same set. This one's out of 99 of Willie Mays. Love these cards. That's a classic image of Mays when he was with the, well, I guess, is that San Francisco? Yeah, that's early in his San Francisco career. I was thinking maybe it was New York. This card is sick too. This Bob Gibson. Mutton chops, is that what they call it? Those sideburns, are they called mutton chops? But this one's numbered out of 150. They had it in the value box for like three bucks. I was like, hell yeah, I'll take it. I love these Allen and Ginter refractors. We'll go like this, let's do that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so then this was in there for like $2. I was like, $2, come on now. Of course I'll buy it. Figured I had a copy of it, but turns out I didn't. So that worked out great. Whoa. Sometimes when I get duplicates, <laughs> I will put one in the binder and one in the box. But that worked out good. I didn't have a copy. So there we go. We got Busta Posey. And then my favorite pickup. And this is what brought me back to the local card shop. It's a short print Buster Posey. And what a great image of Posey. In the patriotic gear. That must have been like a game on 4th of July. Something like that. The rest of the Giants in the background are in their regular Giants gear. So it couldn't have been an all-star game. Who knows? I don't, know. I don't remember Posey ever wearing that gear. But this is a 2019 Topps card number 157 it's a short print i have a feeling it's just a regular short print not a super short print comment down below if you know if this is super short or just regular short print these cards are they're not impossible to find but you don't see a lot of them available and i was at the at the same card shop maybe about a week ago and i saw this card in in the value box they had it marked at 30 bucks and i didn't buy it then and then i just couldn't stop thinking about this card so it brought me back to the card shop and i'm glad i went back because i got some other cool stuff too man those value boxes they got some good stuff in there I, i'm gonna be <laughs> i don't know i think i'm gonna just enjoy going there maybe once a week or once every other week and just checking out what they got so guys thanks so much for tuning in Value box pickups for the win. I mean, like I said, they got cards anywhere from like a dollar on up to 30, 40, maybe even $50 in their value boxes. But it's a lot of fun to rummage. All these cards, 40 bucks cash. Can't beat it. Thanks so much for tuning in. And as always, until next time, happy collecting.